You are now watching Dwayne TV. Click the like button at the bottom. I better you gone it, I do not flaunt it, better with self, I'm my opponent, niggas be talking, niggas be talking, they say they hungry, but they never show it, hey, I'm on the way, wait for the day. Yo, what's good, minorities, we are back at you today with another video, alright, so today we're gonna be reacting to Surviving Pretty Boy Fredo Part 1 by CEO Mikey. Alright, so before the video starts, before the video starts, I wanna say thank you guys, we are up to 890 something subscribers, so give me claps. Anyways, we almost up there to 1K, we about to reach our goal, but the goal is to go further than 1K, we're going to do this and become a great family, and our family going to be extended across the world. Y'all quiet. I don't seem like y'all happy for me. What the fuck? Crickets. But anyways, I'm happy that y'all here. So, um, just to say, I'm glad that we are up to this point. That means y'all really fucking with me, y'all like me and shit like that. Y'all actually come check out a nigga video. It's a lot. But you know, a lot of people really don't give me that support. But I'm happy that y'all are here. So, we're gonna grind this out together. Anyways, back to the video though. Um, if y'all don't know about Fredo, he started off in the 2K community. He branched off 2K community and went to the dark side of YouTube. Started getting into drama, fights, yada yada yada, beefs, and all this other type of shit. He basically known for being a slimy ass nigga and shit like that. That's pretty boy Fredo, if we wanna be honest. He's a slimy ass nigga. But, um,. I can't feel sympathy for nobody that fuck with Fredo. Because y'all know what type of nigga he is. Y'all know how he do other people. So imagine how he'll do y'all. Y'all might think, oh, he'll never do that to me. He just do that to other people. But a slimy ass nigga always going to be a slimy ass nigga. I can't say a snake is always going to be a snake. but Because snake's not that harmful. People harm snake. You know what you're getting yourself into. But that's what I mean by that. You wouldn't put your hand in a lion's cage with fucking blood all over it. And not expect to get bit by the lion. Right? Okay then. So... I just want to see what CEO Mikey has to say about all this. So, before the video starts, just make sure I hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you if you knew. I don't know why his mouth is wide open, but we're going to get to the bottom of that too. Or whatever. But, let's get it. Um, this is between me and Fredo. Fredo, Fredo, listen to me, bitch. Listen to me, bitch. This is between me and you. The same Malie, the same Jabari, the same Ken, the same Keith, the same Dan, the same. This is between me and you. Your time has come. You, I, 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 I've been with you for the past seven months. And I can honestly say, Fredo, you, you go on social media and you talk about how, oh, I'm changing these people's lives. I'm making their lives better. I'm doing better for them. I'm putting money in their pocket. This and that. By the bang, by the boom. My niggas. I always feel like people who always say, oh, I'm making this person better. I'm putting money in their pocket. You bragging a little bit too much. Like them people love their life. And then once you, everybody start eating and actually doing their own thing, throw a party for them. Celebrate how we all got this together. Don't say I'm doing this now that first. Because I feel like you're going to throw it in their face at the end of the day. That's how I feel about that shit. But we're going to continue. Stop the cat. Ever since you moved to New York, you've made my life a living hell. You've made me do things that I wasn't comfortable doing. You Pause. Pause, pause. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what was you comfortable doing, my guy? Like, we gonna continue. Hey, you've, you've lied on my name countless times. You've made, you've made so much money off of me that I haven't seen a dime of. I haven't seen a dime. All these videos like Fredo like, oh, when it gets 60K, when it gets 100K, when it gets 80K, that's all cap. That is literally all cap. Look, I can literally go on my phone right now. I will go on my phone and I will drop all the videos that I've been in and I will tell you how the videos will fit and how they fit. And I can tell you about the other videos, how they will fit. So I'm going to stop my screen recording right now and we're going to go down the list. I'm Fredo moved to New York about... Eight months ago, right? He moved right. about eight months ago, right? Yeah. That seems about right, right? The first ever video that I was ever in was 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 DMing a hundred Instagram models to see who replied. That video was fake. All right, so let me explain something to y'all, and we think that we all know this or whatever. We all should know this. And I hate to spoil it for any of y'all, but a lot of famous YouTubers, not to say everybody, but a lot of famous YouTubers, if it's a prank video DMing 
Instagram model type video, it's mostly pre-planned and premeditated and already it's fake, it's scripted, my nigga. Like, what more can I say? Like, pranks, um, gold digger pranks, um, fucking DM and Instagram models. It's prank. It's, they already know who they gonna DM and who gonna who they gonna get a response from and shit like that. It's fake. All that. It's fake. Like stage. Like, if, but I can't blame them shit. Getting the bag off. I'm like, if I wanted to jump down there, I'd do it too. To be honest with you, like, it's easy to move. First off. What I said. And me and mind you, this is my first time ever in an SH video. So I still think that these videos are somewhat real and you actually get something out of these videos, correct? No. So they so 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 they already planned who to DM, so it was guaranteed that I would lose a challenge and I would have to get my nipples pills. Now Wait, pause. Pause number two. You got your what? You got your nipples pills. First he was doing something he didn't feel comfortable doing. Now he getting nipple spares. Strike two. When Fredo told me, "Oh, you lost the challenge, so your punishment is you gotta get your nipples pills," I wasn't I wasn't down to do it at all. I told him, "No, I don't feel comfortable doing that shit." Now I I'll do shit like that. I don't care now because I'm used to it. But before I was used. To you used to it. We don't feel now you're comfortable doing shit like that now because you're used to it. I think we got a closet coming. Like I think he on that R. Kelly clip shit coming out the closet. Let's find out. Shopping so closet. Me and he told me, closet? "Oh, I'll give you a thousand dollars for each nickel you piss." I never received that money. I swear to God on my life, I never. You know me. I'm not. I'm not the one to lie about shit like this. I never received the money for none of those videos. That's the first video. Wait, so you got, was you supposed to get paid a K, 1K for every nipple you got? Because you don't got two nipples unless you got some type of formative. But anyways, and you never received a dime of that money for your nipples, Pierce. So you're supposed to get 2000 And you've been cool with this nigga for eight months, I believe you said, or before that. Um, And you never got... That two racks, yeah, me and him been fighting. Cause on dump, I ain't doing that gas shit. I, I'm sorry, I'm just not doing that. That that's beyond me. But off the dump, he had to cash at me that money. I had that cash in hand, right in and there when we stepped into that tattoo shop. One k, two k, or I'm taking your call. Straight off the dump, giving them keys, run me my shit. He played you. You saw. Second video I was a part of. A hundred thousand exchange challenge loser gets kicked out SSH. My nigga, this video is fake on so many levels. First off, all the challenges was all. Three hundred for that in two thousand for this. Yeah, hey, I appreciate you giving me that. Sure you guys get all this stuff. Let me skip over cheaper. that. Already predetermined who would win the challenge, and it was determined that I would win the whole thing because it because it makes it makes it more believable that I would choose to kick Keith out of SSH because I just got SSH. That video was fake. I never received sixty thousand dollars. Except how my setup is right now. Received nothing. <laughs> I didn't win nothing. All I received was a bunch of hate from a bunch of thirteen-year-old kids because they believe because they believe that that shit was real. But, I, but I'm gonna tell you right now, kids, the shit was fake. That's the second fake video. Third video, crashing around online college classes. That that was probably the realest video he made in the past six months. I ain't gonna cap. One for one against fans for the Jordy Dio ones. He took those Dio ones back. I swear to God on my life. He gave those kids the, the, the Dio ones and he asked for it back and he sold the Dio ones and he got his money back. He never gave a kid no Dio ones. Cat. He scared me. Last screen $100,000. Cat. Setting my foot on a blind day with a man. Cat. You know what this nigga did? This nigga intentionally got me high. So when the train would pull up, I wouldn't notice that it was actually a nigga because I know who that is. I'm not a fucking idiot. I know who the fuck these niggas are. Correct? So. Alright, so let's put this all together in my um my book. First, you was doing something that you was uncomfortable with. Alright. Second, you was getting nipples pierced. Alright. And now you're on dates for trannies. That's three. 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 That's three strikes. Some. One of those. 
something special about this guy. We know. He ain't gonna say it, but we know. By the time the bitch got there, I wasn't hot enough. I had smoked, I had faced a whole blunt. This is before I started smoking. I just started smoking, so I couldn't control my high. So I was high as fuck, but I still knew that the training was a fucking nigga. So when we got to American Dream, I told Fred, I said, yo, I know that's a nigga. I'm not tripping. I'll still do the video, but that's crazy that you try to get me like that. I still did the Boy, he wasn't even tripping over that it was a nigga. He just did it because it was he wanted to do the. Yo, no, it was a nigga. The whole thing was staged. I never like no nigga. I never love no nigga. I don't. Like, I don't even love. Him. I don't even love a bitch. Why the fuck do I love a nigga? Huh? The fuck? Can you please stop cursing like that in my video? Thank you. That, don't make that face with me. You didn't make that face free. I bet you. Destroying kids PS4 in the hood, surprising with a PS5. That video is also fake. The PS5 that he gave me, it was a PS5 that I got for myself. And he was like, yo, let me use your PS5 for the video and be like, I gave it to you. You're gonna game my sub. I'll put your YouTube in the description. So that nigga ain't do none of that shit. He ain't do none of that shit. He came to my house, he broke my TV, he made a mess, and my mom could vouch for this. I was dead ass give my mom on camera. My mom could vouch for this. He dead ass, he just made a mess. Fell off afraid of he on some other shit, dog. Money and he pocketed it and he left that nigga with shit. To this day, I'm still getting DMs. Where's my SSHD? I knew SSHD. So all that shit was capped. So Fredo, so and Fredo, and I remember, I remember Fredo telling me he made about thirty to forty thousand dollars off that shit. So he scammed you guys out of forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. You saw that. But, 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 Said, Fredo, everything done comes to the light, right? So I'm bringing everything to the light, Fredo. Y'all know Fredo cheated on Jasmine. He cheats on everybody. His new girl, he's probably cheating. I'm gonna get to that too. His new girl, he's probably cheating on too. Uh, I get that you want to expose him, but uh, I'll say, keep this shit um, business wise. Like, I wouldn't go in personal eyes to expose him. Like, that's going a little bit too far. I'll see why Fredo won't feel some type of way about you or something like that. Cause you, you, you bringing everything like <laughs> He must got something on you bad bad that you want to just get everything out on him bad So we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see how far this goes. Let's keep it's going I'm gonna get to all of that So there was this girl. 
she lives in Connecticut. From time to time, Fredo would have her drive down to New York, you know, where they would, you know, they would have sex, you know, all that. You know, I'm sick. That's cool. Everybody likes sex. I love, I love having sex. But since you want to put all my, since, since you want to be this weirdo who does all this shit, I'm let everything out. Fredo, mm. I, I'm, I'm going to sound like such a lame nigga for putting this shit out, but I don't give Definitely. a damn, nigga. The truth is going to come to light because you are no guardian angel. The shit you've done, you should be in fucking prison for you piece of shit. Let's not, let, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not go, let, 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 let's get to it. You sound like so, you don't want to talk about Fredo it, but you do want to talk about girl it. Pregnant. Now, I guess, now, I guess with Fredo, he has this deal with Jasmine that even though they're not together, they promise that they won't get anybody else pregnant, this and that, as of respect for them. Fredo got this girl from Connecticut pregnant. I swear to God on my dead cousin. I swear to God on my mother. I swear to God on my heartbeat. I swear on everything I love. This nigga made this bitch get an abortion. This nigga made this bitch get a whole abortion, bro. Damn, that's tough. Disgusting. I got no disgusting. You are a disgusting, man. You. And you know what's crazy? I'm seeing his last video with his new guy. He's like, oh, I don't believe in abortion. This and that. that's, how, that's when I knew the video was fake. Because this dude literally made somebody get it. You know what's crazy? His new girlfriend, Jasmine, and her, they actually know each other. So this is the Super Bowl weekend when um, I guess Crystal, she came to Florida and she seen that Fredo had bought Jasmine a new car. So, you know, she's jealous. You know, she's trying to figure out what's going on. Ah, this and that. So... She takes Fredo's phone and she calls Jasmine when Fredo's not looking. Fredo finds out because Jasmine told uh, Fredo, and he kicks he, he kicks Crystal out. He makes he 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 makes a leave. After after that, he calls me. He tells me everything that happened between him and Crystal. And he was like, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm not even gonna miss the bitch. Her pussy was trash. She be fucking a lot. So I know her, her pussy was trash. This and that. This and that." your whole girlfriend, nigga. You wife the eater. You wife the eater. And also, that's crazy. This nigga take and say, oh, whatever you say on that YouTube video, I, I, I have my lawyers get a hold of it. I'm gonna sue you. Fredo, that lawyer shit is nothing to me. Fredo, you gotta realize something. When you be doing that lawyer shit, I'll be right there next to you. I know it's cat. You're not gonna call no damn lawyers on me, nigga. Fuck you talking about, boy. And even if you was, you know I don't care about that shit, nigga. You know I don't give a damn, nigga. You know I don't give a damn, nigga. So why are you even trying to? And you keep asking, like, oh, I know your last and this and that. I know where you live. Fredo, I know where you live too, Fredo. Fredo, I swear to God, I know you live, Fredo. If you bring any harm to me or my family, I swear to God, Fredo, there's nothing on this planet that is going to stop me from kicking your teeth in. And you know you mm. can't beat me in a fight. You know yeah. you can't. You know you can't. So don't even, don't even, don't, don't even try that shit with me, dog. Because you know you can't. You know you can't, nigga. I'm gonna put everything out. If y'all know, just say I know. The main, it's not only main hype. It was other websites that he promoted. Like hype, hype is a scam. You niggas is stupid if you think hype is legit. Hype is a fucking scam. Literally, I've seen it from us. I couldn't believe it either. But hype is scam. It's literally a scam. So he scammed his fans. He scammed his fans for over forty thousand dollars. Made a girl get an abortion. Fixed his videos. Ruined people's lives. You you know you know what's crazy? You guys know that whole you you guys tell that whole television he did when there was rats and mice and crickets. This nigga went to a pet shop. He bought all those rats and everything, and he put it in the establishment to make the establishment look bad for his video. He didn't even clean them after. The crickets are still there. He didn't even clean them. So now that business has a bad reputation because he decided to make a fake video. Fredo, I kid you not, Fredo. There's a lot of stuff I know about you, Fredo. And if you continue to talk to me, Fredo, I'm letting everything. This is only this is only a tiny bit of what I know, Fredo. You know I know everything about you. I know everything about you, dog. I know everything. So I'm going to say this one more time. The next time you speak on me, I'm letting everything out. This was a warning. I'm happy everything is alive. I'm happy everybody knows now. Niggas know I ain't gonna cap about nothing. I'm not making this shit up. Niggas know I ain't making this shit up. And I'm gonna come with the proof. The proof is gonna be all on the video. This is all on you. We had a good thing going. Mm. 
you was like my brother, but you showed me you was just a fake ass nigga, and I don't fuck with you, nigga. And I swear to God, Fredo, I promise you that when I see you in public, like, this ain't no DDG and Fredo. DDG, DDG doesn't know where you live. DDG doesn't know how you move. DDG doesn't know your phone number. He doesn't know where you live. Fredo, I don't care if it's a year from now, a month from now, a week from now. If I'm walking through New York and I see you, like I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you, dog. I owe you that much. You've ruined my life. I owe you that much. I owe you that much. Stop saying you're putting money in niggas' pockets. You ain't putting no damn money in my fucking pockets, nigga. Every, all the money I've made is for my YouTube videos. You ain't never paid me for none of your videos. You ain't never paid me to be in your videos. You ain't never paid me for none of your challenges. Stop capping. Stop lying. Stop. But that's all I have to say for now. I'm going to end the video right here because he literally said that's all he had to say for now. But, I mean, he brought this on himself. I mean, you are a new type of person, Fredo was, and you let him deceive you or whatever. I mean, shit. What? I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> but anyways, um, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. In the comments, let me know if y'all want me to react to part two of this shenanigans or whatever. I feel like it's all fake, to be honest with you. Anything dealing with pretty old boy Fredo, fake. I don't know. It might be real, but I feel like they got some type of high school shit going on. It's the only GTA shit is all scripted somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to see myself, but that's the end of the video, guys. I'm out. I'm on the way the day. You probably can see it's emotion. Shout out to Nico and Angie, my nigga, especially peanut that the brodies. First niggas that believed in me, now I see it in me, bitch, I do this. I want to beat on a slant to track.